Welcome back. Let's talk about some buzzing stocks now. The market has actually uh, taken a turn for the worse. So the Nifty is now down 128 points. InfoEdge is one stock that's taking a complete knock. It's down 12%. Reema is here to give us the latest on that. Reema, over to you. Thanks so much for that. So when it comes to InfoEdge, we have seen a slowdown in the company's growth rates. So this quarter, the company has seen a revenue growth of 33.5%. But if you compare with the prior four quarters, the company was growing at over 50%. So the growth rate for InfoEdge has moderated. Now, most of InfoEdge's top line comes in from Nokri, which is the recruitment services business. And in that, IT services has slowed down considerably. In fact, even Hitesh Oberoi acknowledged that we are seeing a slowdown in IT hiring, but the non-IT hiring market is doing well, and IT is approximately 50% of their overall revenues. Despite the moderation in their revenue growth, margins have improved for the company. Company. EBITDA margins are at 39%, practically at an all-time high levels, the highest that we've seen in the last 21 quarters, and that's because the company has slowed down on its ad spend. Ad spend as a percentage of revenue has come down. At the bottom line, there is a loss this time, a loss of 84 crore, and this is because the company has taken an impairment charge of 276 crore. Now remember, InfoEdge invests in a lot of startups as financial investors. They're called the investi companies. In one such startup called 4B Networks, which was uh, started by the ex-founder uh, of uh, Housing.com, the company said that 4B Networks is now facing a funding crunch and therefore it's struggling to raise money and that's the reason why InfoEdge has decided to write it down. The fear in the market is that is there a risk of similar write-offs in other investing companies? As of now, according to the company, there hasn't been any such case, but considering that InfoEdge does invest in a lot of startups at the early stage and if if they're unable to raise the required money to scale up their business, will they have to write down their investment? So that's about InfoEdge. Revenue growth slowing down and there is a loss at the bottom line due to that impairment charge. On the flip side, we're also watching out for CoForge because a very large trade, 60 lakh shares changed hands in a block deal. Uh, this is approximately 10% of the equity and Bearings, we understand, is the likely seller. Bearings, remember, is the promoter of CoForge and the total value of the deal is nearly 2,500 crore rupees. Now, Bearings has been in the promoter of the company for the last couple of years now, but they have been sparing down their stake. Their peak promoter holding was about 70% in September of 2020. And since then, in the last two and a half years, they brought it down to now 30%. That's a substantial fall in... Um, the holding, promoter holding, and that supply overhang is weighing on the stock. Back to you. Okay, all right, Reema, that's on CoForge and InfoEdge. Thanks very much for joining in. Yes, uh, it is flashing on your screen that a lot of the Adani stocks continue to be under pressure. Adani Green, for example, Adani Total Gas, uh, Adani Transmission, Wilmar, all of these stocks are lower by around 5 odd percent at this point in time, including something like an Adani Power. But uh, the other stock in focus also has to be Lupin because that stock is now down to the low point of the day, down around 7 odd percent.